Hi, welcome to another map reading navigation challenge. And the task on this um, this question is what is happening to the contour lines? So you can see here that contour line suddenly stops, as does that contour line. So it runs from south to north and stops. So what's going on there? Now some people said that it's to do with this quarry here, that the ground can't be mapped because of the quarry workings. Now that's not actually the case with this because we can see that the contour line in the middle doesn't stop it continues northwards and then bends round going northwest and there's another contour line here that actually goes through that quarry so that's not the answer the answer is something to do with the contour intervals so let's have a look at a, a wider version of that map so here we've got those two contour lines and what we can see is that North of this blue grid square, this is the 8-0 northing, the contours are measured in 10 meter intervals. So if this here is a 360, then that's the 350, that's the 340. However, come to the south of the 8-0 grid line, and we'll find that they're in five. So if that's 360, 355, 350. 345, 340, etc. And we see that all the way along that they do the same, so that one stops and every other one stops. So, south of this blue line, measured in 5 metre intervals, north of it in 10 metre intervals. That seems a bit strange, but this is mapping software off a computer. If you were to go to a shop and actually physically buy the map, then one map would finish, the southern extent of it would be here, so that would be Peak District North, and another map, this would be the northern extent of it, Peak District South. So the whole of each map would have either 10 metre intervals or 5 metre intervals. What is important to know is if we've got an extract that's taken off maybe Ordnance Survey mapping and printed out, or mapping software, and we're going from one section of the map to another where the contour intervals change, we need not to get caught out. So if you were coming from north to south here, you might glance at the map and think, wow, this area in Dead Men's Clough is really steep, when actually it's no steeper than this area. It's just there's an extra contour line on the map squeezed in between each of these 10 metre intervals. So what you need to do is understand the map that you're using and what contour intervals it has on it um, and make sure that you don't get caught out. So that's your answer. I hope you got it right. Look out for more challenges.